like this. You guys get down 21 out there fight, fight back, but, you know, it's an uphill climb basically the whole way. Yeah, yeah. it is. It's a tough one for sure. I mean, we kind of dug ourselves in the hole early being down 21 to 0. When you play a good team like this on the road in this type of, like, atmosphere environment, it puts yourself in a tough situation to get back into the game. So we have to be better by starting off early. Talk about how it was playing for Coach Kelly as he came back to Oregon like this. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was thinking about that this whole week. I was like, I want to I wanna win so bad for him because I know how much this game means to him and our entire coaching staff here. I think it was – we didn't. We just didn't fight hard enough. I mean, too many mistakes, too many penalties. It just sucks because I know this was homecoming. I wanted to. We wanted to actually win for him. Do you think he cared about that? Because he kind of downplayed it all game. <laughs> I mean, it's whatever coach says. So <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go with that. Can you talk about the culture that he's built around this UCLA program? Yeah, yeah, it's for sure. It's great. You know, we're buying into it day in and day out. You know, we like where the, where it's heading. You know. It's always great when you get a you know a new coach they get their new philosophy in. So I think we're definitely buying in. You feel like guys turn to you for your positivity when, when it's tough times. <laughs> um, in a way, yeah, I can see that. Um, I know we got such a young team, and I'm kind of like one of the older guys here. So it's just up to me to you know to tell them like you know this is part of the process that you know we're gonna we're gonna be okay. We're gonna keep fighting. We're gonna get through this. When you watch some of the special teams mishaps that you guys had, you guys had a lot and in different a- aspects. How do you think that affects what kind of how the team feels on the sideline when those big momentum shifters go the other way? Yeah, uh, it's, it's huge. Uh, that's part of the process of being young. Cause I always tell these guys that, like, you know, those those plays are gonna happen. I always just try to rally them, like, hey, look, like the game is not over, you know. And those those mistakes are gonna happen like that. So it's just telling them, like. Hey, we got this. You know, we got three more quarters. We're going to be fine. So it's always tough, though, when you make mistakes. So. It's 500-yard games and six games for you. How does that feel to kind of have proven yourself on this level now? No, appreciate it. <laughs> I didn't even know. But <laughs> I just think that, you know, the opportunity that I've been given, it, I'm extremely, like, humble every day. You know, those guys believe in me, Coach Kelly, Coach Foster, all of them. I just, whenever I'm in there, I gotta produce. I gotta produce for this team. So I always tell myself, whatever opportunity I'm gonna get, I have to make the most out of it. And it's really all the offensive line, the tight ends, receivers, the quarterbacks making reads. There's so much that goes into that. I just wanna really make that straight that there's so much just besides me running the ball that goes into that success. So it's for sure a team effort. When you mentioned that you don't, you don't think you guys fought hard enough, what makes you think that? What made you feel that about this game? I just felt like, you know, the way that we came out early, 21-0, just can't really put yourself in that situation at all. <laughs> They're a great team, great environment, it's loud. I just think that if we started off the game faster, you know, who knows where we could have gone with it. But I definitely think that we, yeah, from that perspective, we could have fought better.